Hello, this is Ricky from the UKBC. Now, we have our open show, our first open show, coming up uh, on the 9th of October. So I thought I'd just run you a few, um, a few bits and pieces on our website. So on our website, on the open show tab, we've got all the information that you should need. Now, the event is being held in Maidstone at the Lock Meadow Hall, which is the Cajun Avery uh, show and sale event. Now, if we scroll down, we have here a digital version of a schedule. Uh, it's a digital flip book. There's arrows to flip through the pages. Now, I understand these are not so quite apparent on the um, tablet or mobile phones. I'll, I'll see if I can make these more obvious. But if you just select, flick through the book, and it, it's just um, a standard schedule like you would have seen before. Adverts, a little bit about what we're doing. Acceptance of birds, judges' allocations, etc. Classification. Yeah, because this is a, a digital version of a of a printed schedule. That's on its side. There is a better version. There is an easier version to read further down the page. Uh, prizes. Um, got some fantastic drawings being donated to the winner by uh, Ali Watson. And then just some show rules. So have a peruse through that at your leisure. It's quite self-explanatory. So this is the, just a little bit about what we're trying to achieve. So this format is not like anything that you would have seen before. Uh, it's completely new. We started from scratch. Um, we're not claiming to have come up with the perfect format. It's, it's a starting point is what it is. And with the help from our exhibitors, stewards, judges, etc. Everyone on the day will be asked for their feedback so that we can steer this in the right direction, make amendments to the, the, the classifications and, and everything that we're doing to make to point this in the right direction and, and to get the, the format that, that we desire. So if we scroll down a bit, bit more, these are our classifications. So the bulk of this is split into primary classes, sex link classes, and recessive classes. We do have as well the crest classes, including Hagaromos, and the colour budgerigar classes. Now, just quickly on the colour budgerigar classes, we big advocates at the UKBC of the colour budgerigars. So you might be wondering why there's only three classes, and the reason for that is because. This is only a starting point for us, and we we see this as a work in progress. Until the time that our classifications, we're hundred percent happy with them, we will carry on with these three classes. Once we are happy, and we've got the format that we want, we will remove the colour budget regard classes completely, with, with the intention of, of having a full classification show for colour budget guards separately. So that's why there is only three classes at the moment. We will be looking to um, give those a full classification show too. So <clears throat> this is all pretty straightforward if you read down. Um, if you've got a combination bird, you start from the bottom, work your way up. So if we say saddleback, for example, if you have a, I don't know, a spangle saddleback, you work from the bottom, you come to the saddleback class first, so that's where it goes. Um, if you do put it in the spangle class in error, it won't be wrong classed, it will just be judged in this class. Obviously, a spangled saddleback will probably stand more chance in a saddleback class than a spangle class, but we're not, we're not looking to we're trying our best to reduce wrong class in birds. So if you're not sure and, and it goes in a class that's not maybe the ideal one, it, it will still get judged. <clears throat> um, yeah, 
So sections, you can see we've got three sections, red, white, and blue. So if we scroll down a little bit here. So red section is for people with six years plus exhibiting experience. White is for between three and six years and blue for less than three years exhibiting experience. Now, put yourself in the section that you feel most comfortable in. And what we mean by that is if you've kept budgies on and off for 30 years, but have had a break for the last 10, you probably wouldn't feel comfortable in the red section, and that's understandable. And then maybe you wouldn't feel right in the blue section. I, I, I don't know. Just put yourself in, in the section that you feel relevant. That, that's fine. So a bit further down is our show entry form. So there's no paper form sent out. We're trying our best not to use the postal service. It's not very green. Uh, there's costs involved to the club and the exhibitor. Things get lost. So hopefully this way is just, just better all round. So it's uh, just a basic web form, uh, name, email address, phone number, whether you're under 18 or not, and whether you'd like to steward. They're all required fields. And then you get to the exhibit section, you select what section is for you. Um, for this example, we'll say red. And then that opens up our entries down below. So we start with adult birds. And then under the adult bird entries is the current year. So just select as many as that, that you want to enter. So we open this first one. Um, we've started, rather than just a class number, we've started with a description to hopefully make, again, it easier and, and try and prevent this wrong classing of birds. Um, the class number is there as well. You'll see we've got 29 classes. And on this one, it's suffixed with an A. And that's because if we scroll back up to the classification sheet, the adult birds of the red section suffix with A. So there is no option to pick 1C or 1E in error. Because we've selected red section here, the only ones available to you are the red section adult birds. Um, same, same applies for the current year birds. If you scroll down, suffix with a B. Because B is the suffix for the red section current year birds. So you shouldn't be able to put a bird in the wrong section. If we was to change that to white, just so we can show you. And that all suffix with C, because that's the, the suffix for the, the white section adult birds. So you, you go through, select your entries. Again, if you've got a combination bird, just go back to the classification sheet, work your way up from the bottom to see what class it should go in. Um, select as many as you want from the adult birds and then down to the current year birds. Select your entries there. And when you're done, to the bottom, hit the submit button and we will receive an email with all your details and your entry. Now, for anyone that's not comfortable with this method, we, we do have the option of a phone entry. Lynn's kindly agreed to take telephone entries on Monday the 3rd of October between 6 and 10. But this online form is our preferred method. If you can do it this way, please do. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions, um, drop us a message. This is an open show. It's open to everybody. Um, you don't need to be a UKBC member. Uh, the, the adult bird section, you don't need to have your birds rung for. The current year bird uh, sections, will, they will need to be closed rung, but it doesn't have to be a UKBC ring. Any closed ring from any 
national or international club or society is perfectly acceptable. Um, and I think that just about covers it. Uh, we hope to see you on the day. Please keep an open mind. Uh, and hopefully we can um, have a good day. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there.